And the media are contributing to the unraveling, the deterioration of this society. And they're also contributing to this, the balkanization of our country, because they're in for the revolution. That is the counter-revolution to the American Revolution. They are activists. I now call them on radio the American Al Jazeera, the American Al Jazeera media, because that's what they are. I want to show you just a short clip of the Israeli commandos, as best as you can see it, rescuing four of their fellow citizens, three of whom were kept captive by a so-called journalist for Al Jazeera. You see, Hamas has placed them with civilians. So this guy from Al Jazeera is a journalist at day and a terrorist at night. And that's many of the citizens there. Many. Go. It's a firefight. This is urban warfare. Urban warfare. And it's the worst kind of warfare because your soldiers, they don't know what's lurking behind a corner in a closet in a shadowy area and so forth and so on. And we have people who sit in these air-conditioned rooms after having a donut or a bagel in the green room, having their hair done and their makeup put on. I've seen these people. Uh, people brushing them off. They're treated like kings and queens before they go on TV or in front of the microphone and all. And then they condemn the Israelis for trying to save their people. We must have some kind of suicide uh, gene in our bodies. Not you and me, but the people around us. Because uh, if you can't see what's going on there and here, or if you actually take the wrong side decided evil, there's something horribly wrong with you. So the Israeli hostage rescuers celebrated and made claims of journalists holding Israelis captive. Eight journalists, so-called, with Al Jazeera did. They held four. Actually, the three men. Go ahead. First tonight, to the joy of the surprise hostage rescue, Penny Wong's silence over the matter, and the Al Jazeera journalist who was holding Jews captive. I love this network, by the way. Sky News Australia. Yeah. Captive, all while reporting on human rights abuses. On Saturday evening, we received the news that we thought it would be impossible not to celebrate. The rescue of Noah Agamani, just 25, Almog Meir, 21 years old, Andrew Kozlov, 27, and Shlomi Ziv, 40. Yet there has not been a word of joy or any welcoming the news from Penny Wong. For eight long months, there'd been no news of these hostages and there were grave fears for their lives. Who could ever forget Noah Agamani's face as she was ripped away from her life as she knew it and forced onto the back of a motorbike while her boyfriend was held at gunpoint? The 25-year-old screamed, don't kill me, as she was kidnapped. <laughs> the scenes of Noah's devastated father crying went right, right, around the uh, right around the world as he begged, as he cried, how he was devastated. He spoke about how he'd kept his daughter safe all of her life and now she was gone. Well, thanks to the bravery of Israeli forces, Noah, Almog, Andri and Shalom were reunited with their families. And here are some of those emotional moments. Oh dear.
The trauma to these families has been indescribable. But where were three of these hostages hidden? In the home of a Palestinian journalist who'd written for Al Jazeera and the Palestine Chronicle. Here was Abdallah Al Jamal's profile on Al Jazeera. In his articles, he regularly wrote about so called Israeli human rights abuses and war crimes, claims of starvation and genocide. You wonder how the media get it so wrong. Well, perhaps it's because they're relying on first hand accounts from Hamas terrorists masquerading as journalists, all the while holding Israelis hostage. Al Jamal's home was in the Nuzerat refugee camp. That's where Hamas and Palestinian civilians were hiding these innocent hostages, inside a refugee camp. And the refugee camp has been run by UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency. So what responsibility does the aid agency have here? And why is Australia still sending millions of dollars to UNRWA? And why didn't the Red Cross, UNRWA or any other agency visit NOAA and the other hostages despite them being held captive inside a refugee camp? And why haven't Biden and Blinken condemned Al Jazeera? and Qatar, which is owned by Al Jazeera, excuse me, which owns Al Jazeera and is a state-run media operation. And why have almost no media organizations in America, but the usual conservative ones, even talked about this? I tell you, the media are horrendous across the board, pretty much. And so here we have a journalist, so-called who was keeping three of the hostages. And Qatar, which Biden and Blinken have befriended, which has funded and protected the leadership of Hamas and the Hamas terrorists, negotiating on our behalf on the five Americans who are still hostage. He doesn't criticize Qatar, Biden, Blinken, none of them. They don't criticize Iran. They don't criticize anybody but Netanyahu. Go ahead. We've even seen in the past two days morally corrupt United Nations officials like the biased Francesca Albanese claim that the hostages were released. This network, this Sky Australia, is one of the greatest networks I've ever watched. It's just fantastic. Listen to what she says. They have a very left-wing government there, which is destroying Australia as well. But um, in our own country, Martha Raddatz, The Sunday Shows, Brennan, Dana Bash, all questioning whether, we're so glad the hostages are out, but what about all the deaths of the Palestinians? And they regurgitate the Hamas numbers. The, uh, the, the complete lack of moral clarity and principle in our, our media, where they repeat each other, where America is the enemy, Israel is the enemy, the great middle class of America is the enemy, and so forth and so on. The media are contributing to the unraveling, the deterioration of this society. And they're also contributing to this, the balkanization of our country, because they're in for the revolution. That is the counter-revolution to the American revolution. They are activists. I now call them on radio the American Al Jazeera. The American Al Jazeera media, because that's what they are. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.